So Kairos is breaking new ground in terms of live video production. Tell us about the platform and how it's being used in the sports world. Okay, we, la we launched the Kairos uh, back in 2019 at ISE, and then exactly as we launched it, the pandemic hit. So everything shut down for two years. Um, but two years on um, now, we've gone global with Kairos, going into many events, many broadcasters, and really where it comes to strength within the sports industry, you might have, I don't know, eight events going on at one time, whether they be hockey or, or um, rugby or football, whatever it may be, going into a live studio where you've then got somebody that's hosting the show, and you might have a panel there as well, discussion, discussing what's going on. Um, and as long as that footage is coming in uh, at 16 by nine, we can bring all those feeds in from all of those eight events, all at the same time, take it through Kairos, put it into any aspect ratio that we want, put it onto LED screen, put it onto projectors, put it onto small panels, or even allow it to transmit live. Okay, and so what else is new from Panasonic apart from Kairos? We have announced the new PTZ, uh, the AWUE160. Uh, this comes out in March and it's gonna sit at the top of our um, line up of PTZs. Now we're very lucky to be the global leaders when it comes to PTZs and I've been with the company for 24 years and we've always had a robotic head. In those days they were rather large and like gunships, now obviously a bit smaller. So the UE160 is going to sit at the top of our fleet. It really joins the technology between PTZ and the studio camera. So we've added things like autofocus, we've got a 4K one inch MOS sensor, um, we've got um, a low pass filter that we put in, so it allows you to point the camera straight at an LED screen and reduce that Moire effect. So more and more um, companies like, you know, like Disney, etc., and people like that, where they're making um, a Mandalorian or they're doing a Star Wars shoot, and they're using an LED screen as a backdrop, they can now use a PTZ to film the actor and the backdrop and remove that Moira effect. Okay. You um, recently added live events and esports rooms to the AV Digital World uh, 3D digital platform. What can visitors expect from this? So we, once again, we looked at it, you know, with the pandemic going on, everybody's working at home, no one wants to go back to the office. So it was like, well, how can we get our product straight in front of our customers when they want it. So, you know, we're very face-to-face -face, um, active and we want to go and see people, sit down with them, show them our kit and tell them how wonderful it all is. But a lot of people are still working at home, certainly systems integrators, certainly consultants. And this new platform will allow them to dial in via their laptops at home, go onto a virtual platform, pick out the scenario that they're looking at, could be education, could be corporate, could be broadcast, could be esports pick that out, click on it, and it will take you into a virtual world. So if you're picking eSports, for instance, you can go straight into a, an eSports setup. Everything's virtual. You can click on all the products as they're lined up. It will give you the specification of the product, and it will also tell you how it talks to other products within inside that eSports. So you might have PTZs connected straight to Kairos, or you might have Kairos connected straight to a projector. So you, for an e-consultant e or um, a systems integrator, they can go and see it all set up and work out how it all works. And looking ahead to 2023, 20, are there any plans for Panasonic you can share? Yes, we have a new studio camera coming, uh, which will be arriving about March time, uh, called the PLV100. Uh, that's a PL mount uh, studio camera. It will join the fleet of studio cameras that we already have, um, but it will allow those rental companies to use their PL lenses that they currently use when they're using for drama or they're using it for film. So they can add another string to their bow by taking a live camera in um, and add to that. It's going to be super 35 mil, it's a, a 4K sensor, it's shallow depth of field, but the budget is going to be at a good level that they can manage. To go with that, um, we will also make announcements about Kairos, but that's as far as we can go on that one. But we do have a new uh, half-size panel, a C2 panel, uh, which we've released already. So that's coming as well. So it'll be exciting for 23. Brilliant. Sounds great. Thank you, Nigel. Thank you.